And in our last example, we have negative 3x plus 5 is bigger or equal to negative 19. And negative 3x plus 5 is smaller than 8. So first, let us solve for x in this inequality. So I want to isolate x. So I move the 5 to the left-hand side, and that becomes minus 5. And if I simplify that, I have minus 24 is smaller or equal to negative 3x. And then I divide both sides by negative 3. So x would be smaller or equal to 8 because negative 24 divided by negative 3 is equal to 8. And remember, if I divide by a negative 3, the direction of the inequality changes. And now let's repeat those calculations on the right-hand side. So again, I move the 5 to the right, and now it becomes 8 minus 5, and that is equal to 3. And then I divide both sides by negative 3, so x would be bigger than 1. So remember that you read the inequality from the position of x. So x would be bigger than 1, but x would also be smaller than or equal to 8. So let us indicate those values on the number line. So I have 1 with an open O and 8 with a closed O because x can be equal to 8. And x is somewhere in between those values. And if I indicate that in our interval notation, I have a curved bracket for my minimum value of 1 and a square bracket for my maximum value of 8.